he said it was just a cough. Well, he's sprouting, isn't he? He said he hadn't got a scratch. I'd call those scratches, wouldn't you? Are you sure it's safe to get that close? You won't catch it from looking. There could be spores. Try not to get bitten. They go a bit crazy towards the end. Thanks. I'll be careful. Run! Bloody if you don't want to end up that? like him! Christ! I think she's about to snap. <laughs> Please listen to a personal message for our prudent friend. The fox has gone to bed. The fox has gone to bed. They've really gone out of their way to isolate Dr. Faraday. They must be extremely dangerous. Roger, I'm going to fix it, because that's what I do, apparently. I'm fucked. We're both fucked. The professor's gonna kill us. She's gonna tell them to send us away. I'm always mucking things up for her, and... Uh, Roger's worse. He breaks everything. The professor's gonna send us both away. <laughs> Can you get us a new valve? I'd let you use the professor's lab. Oh, it's brilliant. Dr. Faraday's a woman. It never even occurred to me he'd be a woman. And she has... houseboys. I just want you to know that I appreciate what you do. Oh, brilliant! Oh, this is perfect! Thank you! Oh, you've saved us. Look, go on in. The lab's brilliant. Roger will give you a hug. <laughs> Maybe the professor can help you too.
All right. Why don't we speak Latin? Because it's 1946 and the Romans left Britain in 450 AD. I can't hear you. Why do you want to speak Latin? You always... You always... You always know. You always know. You always know... You always know. You always know what each... You always know what each word means when it comes out. Impedimenta, the baggage. Impedimentorum, of the baggage and impedimentis, to the baggage. So it doesn't matter what all you say things? Yes. So long as you're talking about baggage. What? No, Arthur, I'm talking about... Oh, fuck off. Why are you learning Latin anyway? You still have trouble with English. I can see it in my head. You make the words by sticking endings on them. Well, that seems like an awful lot of effort. When you learn German. When... when you learn German. When you... I don't want to learn German! You just have to stick the right ending onto the word. I don't want to learn German! It's very good language. It has very strict rules. Imagine my surprise. James and Roger. Did the executive committee send you? No, no, I, uh, these chaps, they're trying to open the bridge to St George. What a coincidence. I can't open my own door either. What, what do you mean? You, you're locked in? What did you do? I told the executive committee I wasn't going to make any more spankers, or gates, or clever locks, or peepers, or jubilators. Those are all my designs, you know. They can do that. Then no, I don't work for them. Ah, then you're rather brilliant to have got in, aren't you? Please, will you let me out? Hmm, how? I don't suppose you see a large red button on that side that says, open the cage? There is a button, but it doesn't say that. Ugh, I was afraid of that. They don't trust those boys out there. I can't say I blame them. I can't trust them not to set themselves on fire. All right, maybe you can still help me. I was sort of hoping you could tell me how to fix the bridge to St. George. I can. But not till I get out of here. So, I'll need a few things from you. Fair enough? Uh, sure. Brilliant. I need a bucket full of motoline. According to the pressure control grid, there's air in the pipes here. That usually means a leak. Here, take this vacuum. You can keep it afterwards. I don't plan to be anywhere near here. Your joy in me. 
either she's as brilliant as Sally and as reckless, or she's completely mad. It used to be you didn't have to make evil devices if you didn't want to. When did that change? Who wouldn't I kill for a sandwich? I feel terrible. Thanks, mate. I think I need it. It's a bit vomity, but I got most of the motoline back in there.
our friends. <laughs> no, there's no need to join anything. You can just be a patchet by smiling at everyone you can. Now, go back today and enjoy our lunch. This won't hurt a bit. Mind the side effects. Oh, there's a big one we don't mention, isn't there? Have you been sleeping all right? The bobbies have a first on them, you know. It was rather brilliant of Faraday to discover Motilene, wasn't it? Since we can't get petrol anymore. Just uh, watching the day go by. Cells. I could fill them up too. Do 
you know the general, Sally. That's fantastic. I will gratefully accept your kind offer and not mention any awkwardness that happened 14 years ago. That would have saved a bit of fuss. I hope Dr. Faraday can fix the bridge to St. George. When did we put all these clever mouse traps on our bridges? And why? Am I my brother? At least we're alive. Am right. I don't swim in the river. The, the fumes will kill you. You know it doesn't work for you. How could you forget? Good. Now I won't need to cross bridges to get here. Did you see an airplane? I could swear I saw an airplane. Hands. 
can't we just agree to disagree? Look, I really need this. Well, nothing lasts forever, does it? your joy immediately. Brilliant. Thank you. I didn't dare ask those idiots out there. They'd only set themselves on fire again. Um... What do you need it for? I've been working on a wormhole device, you see. Well, don't you look puzzled. Spent science class mooning after a girl, did you? They said it was dangerous. Ha! <laughs> Ridiculous. It's perfectly safe for the most part. You have a device that makes, uh, a portal of some kind? Mm -hmm. the, uh, the going in the whole bit works. Theoretically, I can come out a second hole on the other side of the river. I just need a few particular mechanical pieces. That's how I'm getting out. How are you getting out? Oh, simple really. I just need to get to St George, get a letter of transit, go to the parade and cross the Britannia Bridge without being arrested or shot full of joy by a doctor. Excellent. Here, you'll need the sticks. I mark the cars that have the parts I need. Well, off with you. This isn't too loud. Oh dear. been all these years, Sally? You ran off into the night with nothing, and now you're some sort of brilliant chemist. 
How did you survive? I wish I could have helped you. It'd be nice to be friends again. Instead of all those dreadful things. Sleep. The poor man's dinner. My God, it's Eric Liddell. I never could beat him. But he never ran this fast. What's his secret? Do I really have to extract three bits? Wouldn't two do? Oh dear. Oh, God. I don't think I like this device at all. <laughs> 